I want to talk to you about the owner's trap. So it happens to very young businesses very early on. It happens because often the owner starts out doing the selling themselves. Uh, most owners are deeply knowledgeable about their industry and their customers experience this and they ask the owner to provide more and more products and services that fall outside of the original scope that the owner intended. So the business may have already have originally only sold A and then customers come and they ask to sell B and C and because they're in the same industry, the owner starts to sell um, these two and soon the owner starts to sell too many products and services. And the problem is, is that the employees are generally not as deep subject matter experts as you are in your industry. And it makes it difficult for employees to deliver the products and services you are selling. So ultimately, the owner is the only one that can put their seal or stamp of approval on the products and services. And so they have to be involved in delivering um, the products and services. And because they are involved in delivering the products and services, they have to interface with the customer. And so customers will look at you and say, I'll buy from you, the owner, but I know your employees don't have the same level of expertise that you do. So you get stuck in what we call the owner's trap. So the business slows when you are away on vacation. When the owner, when the customers have a problem, they want to, they want you to help them and you to deal with them. Um, and eventually the revenue plateaus and you get stuck at a certain level and you can't push beyond. And this is when it starts to impact your quality of life. So not only are businesses stressful that are stuck in this owner's trap, they're also worth significantly less because few people are going to buy a business where um, the company is very dependent on its owner. So if your business is sellable and it is not dependent on you, it means that you can scale it if you choose, you can sell it if you choose, you can pass it down to your employees, to a management team, to an MD, or you can um, appoint a president and act as your company's chairperson without in being involved in the day-to-day -day activities. And this is the ultimate freedom.